Never had a problem with cops before. These guys got something going on. Morning, guys. We're on our way to an accident for the Freeport Police Department. Not too sure on the details. Um, it, was, it came in, it's probably about, what, 7.30 in the morning? So this is for the first call I've got today, so. Uh, might uh, notice a change of scenery behind me. Got a, back in the Kenworth, ended up trading with the driver that was driving this truck. I swapped him the Freightliner for the Kenworth, so well, really glad to be back in this truck. So we'll uh, be over there shortly. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Alright, we're pulling up here. I know y'all probably can't see because I don't have my my uh, front facing camera on. Let's me see which one we're getting. Which, this one. We're gonna be getting this traverse. So I'm gonna need to get kinda in the wrong lane here. There's a curb right behind it. Yeah. Morning, guys. I, they, we, when you were calling, we were in route for 10 minutes. They called us at, at 227, you called it at uh, 38. We were in route for 10 minutes. We had 20 minutes to show up. We were logged out at 721. The, well, my dispatch. So they you at 721, my, 751. My dispatch call, said they y'all called at 27. So I don't, I'll tell them, but that's what. Uh, that's what they told us. Are you sure they're not talking about J&M? Because they called J&M first. No, they did. They called J&M second. Uh, that's what you're going off with. They didn't have anybody contacted for a second record. That's why I asked for it. Hmm. Hey, Fred, just talk to your people. Yeah. Get it on time, man. Because it's a busy intersection. And I don't want to have to send y'all back. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, going off of what our call log, they didn't call us until 27. So you might want to check with your people. Well, I gotta go on what we have on our system. Yeah. Never had a problem with cops before. These guys got something going on. They're still waiting on the other damn record. They want to be hassling me.
stretch again. It's literally the first time I've driven it since switching. Bag opens up. Hopefully the other record shows up soon. around Unfortunately, I think they got the wrong record company this morning. Thinking I was late when it was actually them. Wait, so going to the frame slot or what? Jam, do you want me to hold the wheel for you? Maybe, yeah. You go and winch in. dragging pretty hard there.
gonna spread the rest of this stuff out. You be safe. You carry that? Yeah, I got it. Appreciate it. Back up so everybody knows we're backing up. Poke the horn rather. We've probably come right down the street here in this little park and uh, strap this thing down. back at Freeport get this thing unstrapped I didn't film the part where I stopped off the little city park down the street from the accident scene I know a bunch of people are gonna have questions as to what happened on that one because obviously that officer was a little bit heated and so each down how in our area here we're not, we're not like some cities or jurisdictions where one record company works an accident scene. Down here, each unit, each e unit refers to the, each vehicle involved in the accident. Each one gets their own record unless the uh, driver specifies, hey, I want this company to tow it. In this case, I'm assuming they were either taken by ambulance or for whatever reason had no preference as to which wrecker took their vehicle. So they called next on rotation. Um, the truck, I believe, was unit one, meaning it was the at-fault accident, the at-fault vehicle in the accident. So they called J&M for that one. They gave J&M the wrong address or something. They were running late. So because they were running late, they called uh, asking where the wreckers were because we got the call for unit two after the fact. I was en route for 10 minutes by the time they had called to get ETAs on the wreckers. J&M had been en route for longer than that. I'm not sure exactly when they were called. I'm going off what the officer said, he said 651, I believe. So, I'm, he got confused as to which wrecker was late and got on to the wrong person. So they were wanting to skip us and go to the next wrecker, even though we were there doing what we were supposed to do on time. So that's what that was all about. I'd like to say I have 
the utmost respect for law enforcement and what they do. So if anybody is following me that is law enforcement, I appreciate everything y'all do. But it's guys like that, they go and jump on the wrong people that uh, kind of give everybody a bad name. And that goes with any industry, profession, anything out there. Sometimes things get mixed up and stuff happens. So again, no hard feelings to that officer. I just don't like getting jumped first thing in the morning. I said, this is the first call that I've done this morning. I uh, don't enjoy when people wrongfully accuse me of being late because I was on time. I was, I was well within my time. So we get 20 minutes to show up. I was well within my time. And uh, I take a lot of pride. Anybody that knows me, my followers, people that know me, people I work with know that I take my job very seriously. Sometimes probably a little too seriously, but that's another matter. So when that stuff happens, that kind of I don't really take nicely to that. So now we don't have the keys for this one. I'm guessing the uh, driver kept the keys with them. Uh, these do have a shift lock release, but you have to take apart the shift console to get to it. So, I'm not going to take the time to uh, take apart their center console when shaking it off is uh, just as fast or not faster. I am going to use the bed to kind of push this thing back a little bit here. Just because I need a little extra room to get up underneath it. Because it's front wheel drive, left it in park. Now we're gonna walk the truck forward, which if you watch any of my other videos, you've seen an external view of how to do that. But it's a busy morning, so I haven't didn't have a chance to set up my other camera to film this part. So we're gonna do it like this. One more time. And then we can pull that up underneath it. Nice and easy. Set it down on the ground. Before we can get our hooks off of it. truck has the air winch controls I gotta use it on one side all right I'm gonna go ahead and get all my impound paperwork finished up wood blocks and all that put up here bed laid back in and 
be ready for whatever else the day brings us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would, please subscribe, like, and share.